Tell me about the backpack, what went into it, you know, a, a grown man wearing a Looney Tunes backpack, which I think is cool. Right. You know, I really, I don't really, I don't really care what nobody says, you know, I like to have fun. And I think that backpack, just all the Looney Tunes, like all my favorite cartoon characters, just des describes my personality. You know, I'm a goofy person. Um, I like to be silly at times. Um, and just, it's just, just telling people it's not, it's, it's nothing wrong with having fun and being yourself. That's about it. Who's your favorite Looney Tunes character? Bugs Bunny. Really? Bugs Bunny's always been my favorite. How come? He's a wise. He's, he's a he's a wise. You know what? Yeah, I think so. I think so because he always tried. He always um, what's the guy with the gun? Elmer Fudd. Yeah, he always tried to get him and. <laughs> And he never got him, you know, he was just fast, you know, he was just goofy. And um, I think that just described me, so. <laughs> <laughs> you were fast and goofy. <laughs> I think that just described me, to be honest. So I think, yeah, Bugs Bunny is probably my favorite. On a more serious note, what was your first year in the program like? First year, ooh, it was a struggle. Um, to be honest, um, I'm just, I was coming off an ACL injury. Um, I, they said I had a chance to play this uh, last year, but I did not redshirt it. So going through that was pretty hard too, but I just really had to, um, take advantage of that time that I had off, you know, um, that I had just to work, um, get advice from Deshaun Hamilton. I call him like every every other every other day, just for advice. Like, what should I do on this route? How could I make this play better? Um, you know, he's a real inspiration in my life too. Um, it was it was honestly a struggle, but I got through it. But now it's just, I think now it's just a chance for me to to show what I got. Where were you? When were you 100%? Because you were at a IMG when that happened, right? Mm -hmm. I was at, IMG. at what point did you think I'm 100% ready to go? And did they keep you out as more of a, a precaution than anything else? Well, last year going through camp, I was in a knee brace, so I really wasn't. Um, I really wasn't comfortable with myself. Okay. So, um, but I broke out of the knee brace. They, when people say I did it on purpose, it was during camp. Oh, oh okay, I yeah. see. People, so it busted. Yeah, it busted. Like it, it really just broke open. So um, people say I really did it on purpose. I was so glad to get out that knee brace, but even though I got out the knee brace, I still, I noticed I really wasn't myself. So I think come this spring, this spring was probably when I, I knew like I'm 100%, like I'm 200%, so I'm ready to go. So how much did you learn while that, while you were going through all that? Like, cause you're, you know, on the sideline, what do you, and how are you learning during games and stuff? Right, um, ooh. I think most, I think I learned, you know, fo football doesn't last forever, you know, uh, that really, when I, when I tore my ACL, I, I felt like the world ended to me. Yeah. Um, but now I'm back healthy, you know. Um, but I think, I think the main thing I learned was football doesn't last forever. That's why you gotta have your education. You gotta stay in school, you know, just to have a, a backup plan. You know, even though football, football is the, the main goal, you always gotta have some after that, after football. So, um, yeah, just thinking about that and just getting advice from everybody, like what should I do? Um, I call my my god brother Devin Funches place for um, Carolina Panthers. I call him every every now and then too. Just ask him like, bro, I don't know what to do. You know, I was sad. Um, didn't feel like myself, but he always kept me up, uplifted. My father and my mom did as well. So they always had my back regardless of the situation I'm in. So I just appreciate them for just helping me out. What do you see your role being on the team this year? Are you practicing at a pos specific position or are they moving you around? Um, I'm playing the H right now, which is a slot. Okay. Me, uh, me and DeAndre Tompkins. Um, but uh, I'm trying to work on learning the the other positions as well, like the Z, the, um, the X, you know, the S, just just so I can be versatile. You know, they can put me out wide, they can put me in the slot, it doesn't matter. And I'm also playing kick returner too, I mean punt returner too, so I'm working on that as well. DeAndre is an established guy. I mean, how much, how tough is that? But also, I assume you're learning a lot right. from him. Yeah, me and DeAndre, we, we battle every day. You know, um, it's a competition every day between me and him. You know, uh, that's my big brother though, so. I get a lot of advice from him, you know, when he needs help. Like I help, I coach him up on some stuff. He coached me up on a lot of stuff as well. Um, but when we get on the field, it's a battle, you know. We're going to be, we, gonna, we always on each other hard. Um, what we could have did better on this play, what we could have did, did better on that play. So I'm on him, he's on me. Um, I respect him to death. But uh, it's always going to be, a, it's always going to be a competition between us at all times. So me, I, I learn a lot from DeAndre though, so. How tall are you and what do you weigh now? I'm like five nine and a half, I'm 175. What did you weigh when you got here? It was 150. Nice. I was 150. So that was, I think that was just mostly just coming off the surgery. Yeah. But as um, soon as I started to eat more, um, gain some more muscle, it just started coming easier. So I'm still trying to get over this little, I'm trying to, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay at 175 this year, but probably next year I'll probably be 180, 185. And that's kind of modeling up. I think DeAndre was kind of the same way. Mm -hmm. He might be a little bit heavier now. Right. Yeah. What's, uh, what did you run the last time you ran a 40, do you know? It was all types of things, cause I ran what, 
435, 437, 44 flat. It was in between. It was in between those ranges. So, um, you know, I'm all. I think everybody's known to me be a sub 44, 43 guy. So, I think I think I'm be good.